A lot of people use auto-tune today, but honestly, not everyone knows how to use it right. My name is El Marquis, musician, rapper, record producer, unashamed crash follower, and today I'm going to show you how to quickly use auto-tune in Logic Pro 10. El Productions. First of all, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I make tutorial videos like this on Logic Pro 10. I also give advice to independent artists and producers all around the world. I make videos that break down my beat making and songwriting process, and occasionally I do product reviews. So if any of these topics interest you, I need you to do me a really quick favor. Go down, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, so that way you'll be updated whenever I make new videos just like this, and you'll help other people who have similar interests as you see more videos like this. Already got that knocked out? Bet. Now I'm going to go switch over to the computer and I'm going to show you how to quickly use auto-tune in Logic Pro 10. All right, so now we're in Logic Pro 10. I pulled up a song called 95 by my friend Nan Perel. He's an artist who I work with and record and produce for. I picked the song because of course I want to shout out people who I work with and also because they're singing in the song. There's not heavy auto-tune using the song, but I'm going to show you examples of what heavy auto-tune sounds like and how to actually get your vocals to the heavy auto-tune sound. The song features more natural singing, so I'm going to play you a snippet of the song where Nan Perel is singing and then I'm going to show you how to properly set up auto-tune. So here's the chorus of his song, 95. Let's take a but 95, yeah. Maybe we could write, yeah. Passengers side, I'm your best friend, right? Maybe we could uh, chip on 95. Passengers side, I'm your best friend. Maybe we could chip on 95, yeah. Maybe you can write, yeah. Passengers side, I'm your best friend, right? Maybe we, yeah, chip on 95. Passengers side, I'm your best friend. If you like it, I love it. Alright, cool, you get the idea. So first I'm going to tell you what a lot of people do that's wrong, and then I'm going to show you the right thing to do. And I'm going to show you with Logic Pro 10 stock plugins as well as the auto-tune plugins that I prefer to use. So let me bypass this one. So the first thing that people do that's incorrect is that they just load up auto-tune by going down here, go to pitch, go to pitch correction, go to stereo. So the thing that people do incorrectly is they just pull this up and then they'll just retune it all the way like this. They don't touch this. And the problem with that is that the way auto-tune works is that it tunes your vocals to the scale of a song, the scale or the key signature of a song. So if your song is in literally any scale that's not C major and you just drag it down like this, you don't change the scale that the auto-tune is tuning to, it's just going to sound completely off. And a lot of people do this. So there are a couple of different vocals going on. I'm going to mute the backgrounds really quick and listen to how off this lead vocal sounds. This is just pulling up the auto tune and just turning it on without changing the key of the pitch correction five yeah maybe we could write yeah. passengers side i'm your best friend right maybe we could uh, chip on 95 passengers side i'm your best friend maybe we could chip on 95 that sounds completely off and that's what a lot of people do that's incorrect so what you actually need to do is you need to find the key that your song is in it may take you a couple tries to do i'm going to show you how to do it just with stock logic plugins and then I'm going to show you the quicker way to do it that I prefer to use. So I open up a piano, just hit that plus button, go to software instrument, empty new channel strip, create. You can pull up any piano sound that you want. So I can go over here, go to piano, just pull up Steinway Grand Piano. And it helps to know a bit about music theory, mainly just scales. So I have the piano pulled up. I gotta pull my piano over closer to me now. And as the song plays, I'm going to play a few different scales to try to find the key of the song. You also can try to humming to the root note of the whole song. And then you may be able to find the pitch on your MIDI keyboard, and then you'll be able to find the key that way so let's try this out we're sneaking out the basement hey man now we doing business with the asians hey man take a trip on 95 yeah maybe we can write yeah passengers side i'm your best friend right maybe we could uh, trip on 95 passengers side so as i was playing i found out that the song was in the key of d major so you don't have to do this but the way i have my control bar set up is i like having the key signature right there i typically have it set just because i'm weird and i just like knowing the key of the song that I'm working with. And back when I was really focusing on engineering and recording artists in my studio, if an artist sent me the beats before the session, I normally actually would set them up with both the tempo and finding the key signature just in case they want to use auto-tune. So all you have to do is go to the beginning of your song, just click enter, and then you just click up here and then you just select the correct key. So cool. So now we know that the song is in D major, so you can actually delete this piano. And also with this, you may have to do some trial and error because I'll definitely admit that there are some times when I thought I was playing in the correct key and then it turns out I was off off by like one or two key signatures so then most of the notes would be right but then there would be a couple that would sound a little crazy so if you're not musically inclined this may just take you some trial and error to find out so now go back to your pitch correction and turn it back on okay so the song's in d major so click over here where it says root change that to d 
and make sure where it says scale it says major you have other options like minor scales melodic minor scales all those other stuff if you're doing hip-hop you're probably just going to be using major and natural minor scales and now over here the response this controls how fast you want the auto-tune to react so the faster it is the more you're going to hear it the fast response is something you would expect to hear from someone like t-pain or travis scott or quavo you want to hear a little bit of it not super hard but if you want to kind of hear the auto-tune you can slow it down to maybe like over here i can gauge it better on the other auto-tune plugin i use i haven't used this one in a little while but so for a song like this i might have it maybe like over here so let's play it and hear what the vocals sound like now this is with the asians they should take a trip on 95 yeah maybe we can write yeah passengers side i'm your best friend right maybe we could uh, speed it up like a little bit more because we had it set pretty fast on the song uh, trip on 95 passengers side i'm your best friend maybe we could trip on 95 yeah maybe you can write yeah passengers side i'm your best friend right and if you do want the T-Pain, Travis Scott, Quavo type of effect, take it all the way down, and then this is what it will sound like. Five, yeah, maybe we could write, yeah. Passengers side, I'm your best friend, right? Maybe we could uh, trip on 95. Passengers side, I'm your best friend, maybe we could trip on 95, yeah. So that's pretty much how you set up auto-tune with Logic Stock plugins. Cool, guess what? there's actually a quicker way to find the key of a song. So I'm gonna turn this off now. So if you're in a studio session and an artist just tells you that they want to use auto-tune on the song, you need to find the key of the song, right? So if you do what I just did and try playing the notes on the MIDI keyboard, trying to find the key, one that's going to take some time out of the session, two, you may make a mistake. Also, if the artist is either impatient or if you're charging them by the hour, you do wanna do things as quickly as possible because the artist will appreciate that and they'll wanna work with you again. And your goal as a producer and engineer should be to be able to just work really fast. So. So Antara is the company that makes the auto-tune plugin that's mostly recognizable made this cool plugin a couple years ago called auto key that I'll pull up right now. So you should pull up auto key on either the stereo out track or if your beat is a two track MP3 or wave file, you can put it on that. So pull up auto key. So now all you need to do is instead of kind of just guessing around to see what scale works, all you need to do is just play. Auto key is going to listen to the key signature of the song. And within a few seconds, it's going to tell you what it is right here. So I'm going to play the song. Business with the Asians. Asians. Trip on 95, yeah. Maybe we could write, yeah. Passengers side, I'm your best friend, right? Maybe we could uh, trip on 95. Passengers side, I'm your best friend. Maybe we could trip on 95, yeah. So it sings B minor. B minor's relative major scale also is D major, so either one works. And the cool thing about auto key is that you can send it directly to your auto tune plugins that are already set up. So then all you have to do is click that. And actually, let me pull up auto tune so you can see what it's actually doing turn it on so i'll set this to a different key so if it's sent to autotune there you go just send it right there you just notice that right there it sent it straight to autotune so now you're already in the correct key it saves so much time just make sure that you play the song for a couple of seconds because auto key is sometimes imperfect and it might get the wrong scale at first and then you play it for a couple more seconds and it'll get the right key so do play it for like five ten seconds and then you get the key signature right there you get it quick and easy that's exactly why i got this plugin so now if i'm in a studio session and someone's asking me to put on auto tune all i have to do is just grab that plug in turn it on run it for like five to ten seconds bam got it set up and with this version of auto tune effects the retune speed works the same as what the stock one if you tune it this way that's hard auto tune that's something you would expect to hear from trap scott quavo those type of artists roll it back some start sounding more natural and the cool thing about auto tune effects is that it has this humanized knob which adds realism to sustain notes at high retune speeds as that says right there so it just makes the vocal sound more natural if you don't necessarily want it to sound super robotic and too perfect you can use this to dial in some more of those human imperfections just to make your vocal sound more natural because when you're using autotune sometimes you may be going for that modern trap sound where the autotune is really heavy other times you may just want your vocal to sound more in tune and more natural so that's on a record like this where it's not necessarily hard trap it's more so i guess hip-hop crossover with r&b i'll have the retune speed set like this at 40 where you can still kind of hear it but it's not super noticeable and then i just turn up the humanize all the way so it still sounds natural and also the cool thing about this specific version of autotune effects plus is that it does come with some really cool effects that you can play around with i'm not going to go through those just because this is just a tutorial specifically on how to auto-tune vocals but i definitely i recommend this plugin i used an older version of auto-tune effects for years pretty much ever since i actually started engineering for people and i definitely
definitely recommend getting an auto key along with it because it will save you so much time and so much guesswork when all you have to do is just load up the plugin and it'll tell you the key of your song. Next, I guess a little bonus tip that I'll give you is how to manually correct the pitch of your vocal. So the thing about auto tune is that yes, it will get your vocals to be more on pitch, but if you sing a note that's like just in between two different notes, auto tune might have to guess which note that you're actually trying to hit. And there's a chance that it could tune it down to the wrong one where it could be in key, but it's not necessarily the note that you want it to sing. Or also you're just a vocalist who just really just don't know what you're doing and you're all over the place. Auto tune might not really help that much if you're like just really, really, really all over the place. So the solution to that is to use flex pitch, which is something stock and logic. You don't have to pay for this. This is not a third party plugin. So all you need to do to activate that is hit command F on your keyboard, go over here, hit enable flex, click over here, go to flex pitch. And what that does is it analyzes all the notes that you're singing. And now you can manually correct the pitch of pretty much any note that you sung. So these are all the notes. It looks really similar to MIDI data that you would see when you're playing melodic instruments, when you're making a beat. So now you can grab pretty much any note and you can either make them perfect uh, like, like that just by double clicking. You can drag them other places. So actually, let me undo that. So let's say just for the sake of example, let's say this note Nope. Uh, that E is incorrect. Let's say I want to drag it down to D. So I could double click on this to make it perfect. And then I could click on it. Uh, drag it down. And now the note is going to play as a D instead of that E that was originally sung. Said I'm your best friend, right? Maybe we could. And obviously that sounds wrong, but that's just for example purposes. Let me undo that. Also, the cool thing about the two is that you can change up the vibrato that's sung. So if someone's singing with too much vibrato, you could decrease it. Or if you just want it to sound straight, you could just drag it all the way down to 0%. Hear what that sounds like. Said I'm your best friend, right? Maybe we could. <laughs> so if you want every note to be exactly perfect, or if you maybe you sing a couple of wrong notes here and there and you want to tighten up the vocal, you can use auto-tune, of course, but then you can also use auto-tune in conjunction with with flex pitch and that way you can get the sound that you're looking for you use auto tune for the sound and also you can make sure that your all of your vocals are on pitch all right so to summarize everything that we just learned first thing actually i should have started with is that when it comes to recording your vocals you need to make sure that you're giving the strongest take possible at first the better your performance and the more accurately that you sing your notes the better results that you're going to get if you're a really horrible singer auto tune is not going to help you out maybe a little bit but probably not that much so I'll probably say most importantly, get your delivery on point because you don't have a good plugin yet that can really fix your delivery. And make sure that you try your best to stay relatively on pitch. And then the next thing that you do is you find the key of your song. So then you can either use the piano like I just used, or you can invest into auto key by Antares and just play a couple seconds of your song, get the key, send it to your auto tune, then you can pull it up and then you can adjust your retune speed or if you want it to sound more natural or if you want it to sound more aggressive. So now you just learned how to quickly use auto Auto-tune in Logic Pro 10. Thank you for watching this video. If you like what you've seen today, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you know whenever I upload a new video. Also, be sure to visit my website, lmrqproductions.com, where you'll be able to check out my music, my beats, my sample kits, my merchandise, and my mixing, mastering, and consulting services. Also, if you're a producer who likes to use loops in your beats, I've got some royalty-free loops that I want to give you for free. Just go down in the description to find the link. Now, go down in the comment section below and let me know Who's your favorite artist that uses auto-tune? My name is El Marquis, El Marquis Productions. God bless.